All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Super here and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. So today is the official early access release, September 14th of Mortal Kombat 1. And a lot of people have been telling me that they are struggling with the cameo system. How to use the cameo fighters the best way that you possibly can. And I'm here to just give you a rundown on how to start off, how to just like get things rolling, how to pick your cameo fighter, and just the basics. Because once you get more familiar with the game, you're gonna get better at using your cameos, get better at situations where you can use your cameos. So this is just how to get started with the cameo system and how to pick, or I'll, I'll tell you guys what cameo fighters I would recommend to start off with. So. Before that, leave a like on the video for the release of Mortal Kombat 1. I'm so fucking excited. Alright, here we go. So, I have two examples here of cameo assists. We have Sector for Scorpion, and then we have Serena for Reptile. Serena, in my opinion, I'm gonna say it right now, is a character that you probably want to start with. Because Serena, let me actually switch to Reptile here and just demonstrate. Serena is probably the best combo extender in the game because she has her back assist and it shoots four of these blades that allow you to extend combos and I'll give you guys a perfect example of why she's so good so I have reptile here he has this amazing back three which is a low that goes into back three one but if I do this at max range it might not combo into force ball not even the far force ball but if you, uh, or sometimes it just misses completely with this. So something that you could do if you're far away is you could use the Serena assist. All right, let's see. Around here. All right, that's gonna miss. But with the Serena assist, you have access to extend your combos. Any combo string, into Serena assist this is gonna lead to a good amount of damage combo extensions for days and that's why the Serena assist at the moment is uh, on day one is the perfect beginner friendly assist because the way that I'm gonna explain the cameo fighters to you at least at the start is just use them like if they were a special move that you have so for example instead of using the force ball which you normally would use with reptile to extend your combos you just go into your serena assist and then you could go into whatever else you want so the way that i look at cameos at the moment is combo extenders i look at them as special moves that my character has at its disposal so like i said instead of doing something like this and ending your combo that way, you know, you do something like this. You do her first, and then you go into this. And that added about almost 10% damage. That added like 8% damage. And you could do it twice. You could actually do it twice. Oh, I dropped the combo right there at the end, but... Just to give you guys an example, you could do it twice. So I would just recommend bringing it down to a basic level for you guys who are not familiar with games like Marvel vs. Capcom or assist-based fighting games and are a little overwhelmed. I would just say bring it down all the way to the basics and just look at your character like if they're a combo extender. I would probably say that this character that I have here, Sector, he does have a nice combo extender with his teleport punch, but it's not gonna be as good as Serena because Serena keeps you on the ground. So this right here with the Serena assist, I could just loop it twice and then go into my bread and butter combo, or I could do that on the ground. I don't need to use a spear at the moment. And then I could go into this without using up gravity like this would use. This uses up gravity. As you guys can see, he's already like close to the ground, but if I had the Serena assist on the ground or I had frost, I could save my gravity so I could use it up whenever I want to we do like the three repetitions of this. So I would just say the way you start off with cameos is just look at them like they're another special move that your character has. 
So instead of inputting my spear right here, I'm gonna input this combo extender, and then bam. You know, you it, it, it's just a, a different special move that your opponent has, and it's actually easier because you have it on your left bumper or right bumper, whatever you decide to use your uh, cameo fighter on. I like using it on my left bumper because I, I've always grabbed with the, wow, he just teched my throw. I think I have throw tech on for some reason. <laughs> but I, uh, I have my, that threw me off completely. <laughs> I have my grab button on the right bumper because I've always had that ever since I started playing Mortal Kombat X. And I kept that through Injustice, MK11, all that good stuff. So I feel comfortable having my cameo fighter be on LB. So. That's, that's how I use it. I don't know how you guys are going to feel comfortable. I don't know what you use your grab button on, but you can remap your buttons to change the cameo assist to whatever. Um, so, Sector is a good example of a cameo fighter that could be a crazy combo extender, but it takes more, uh, it takes more experience and it takes more execution. So, for example, Scorpion has this move, this ground move, right? That is seemingly at face value it's just something to do a little bit of damage. It is a low. He has the unblockable version, adds a little bit extra damage. You can't really, you can't use the Serena assist on this one because Serena is a summon assist, not an ambush assist. So what ambush assist is, is pretty much like if I'm doing a special move like this, I could call in Sector whenever I want because he's an ambush assist. So characters with an ambush assist are actually going to make this flame scorpions combo extender so then you could save your spear and you could use it in a combo afterwards but it takes more execution that's why i'm saying that serena is a good starting point but she's not going to be the end all be all because you have characters like sector that could do this you guys saw that four hit combo with my flame being extended because sector has an ambush assist that could come out whenever I'm doing something. I think that's too late. Yeah, that one's too late. So that's a perfect example right there of a different way that you could use your cameo fighter instead of um, using something that is as simple as Serena to extend your combos. You could choose someone like Sector, and then you could also uh, double click his assist button once he's out and actually make this a homing rocket, just in case you want to do some setups, or maybe you're full screen and you want the rocket to chase your opponent. Hold on. It'll chase your opponent wherever they are. There's a lot of different ways you can use your cameo fighters but i would just say that for now the basics i would definitely recommend you choose characters like serena characters like frost that are just on the surface level very even characters like sonia i think are a little bit too complicated for people who might not be used to calling assists during a combo like or after a combo so like after a force fight you call in sonia something like that it, you might not be used to that, but I think all of us are used to canceling into a special move, right? I think we could agree. We're all used to canceling into a special move. So instead of canceling into your special move, cancel into uh, back in assist, call in Serena, or forward in assist, call in the Frost, forward in assist with Sub-Zero once you unlock them. There's a lot of characters that are just very, very straightforward when it comes to them helping you out with combo extensions. And then you could get up to the more complicated characters um, like Jax and who else is a complicated cameo fighter like Shujinko some of these more complicated cameo fighters uh, Sector is not really a complicated cameo fighter but he's really good um, and if you do want to extend use him to extend combos that doesn't have to do with this because to be honest the uppercut punch kind of sucks like Let me see how much damage is this. I'm just gonna go with the two. So that does 337, but if I do this.
that does almost 400 damage. That is a big difference when you're playing online. So, at the surface level, this is very basic. This is what a lot of characters have, but Sector is not one of the best ones because you want to keep your opponent on the ground just so you could keep extending your combo the way you want to. But once you get a little bit more advanced, then you could take advantage of having Sector be a really good cameo assist to extend your combos on the ground. So then you could do whatever you want. Oh, I did it too late right there. Trying to get fancy here. That's for online. We'll save that one for later. Or for the Scorpion tutorial. But that's just a little rundown on how I think you guys should use cameos for you for you guys who are not used to playing assist-based fighting games. Just keep it very, very basic. Make like if they're an extension of your character's moveset. So even if you, you want to use Sector, you know, you just use this and then go into whatever else you want. Um, just start off with that and then as you start practicing and as you start learning and getting used to the combo structure of Mortal Kombat 1, you're going to be able to do combos like this. Okay, hold on. I'll show you guys this. Actually, I'll do this one. Oh, I dropped it. I'm trying to show the people the combo, uh, Scorpion. You're fucking it up for me. <laughs> All right, well, there's many different ways that you could use that in a combo in different ways. Um, but that's just an example right there. Once you get a little bit more advanced, then you could take advantage of some of these cameos that might not seem on the surface level. All right, this might seem okay. It might look like a setup tool, something like that, right? Because you knock your opponent down. Boom, you call in this for a nice setup. But with some characters like Scorpion that have this specific move that has a ton of hits done uh, and some other characters that might have that. You're gonna be able to use Sector as a combo extender. That's where it gets a little bit deeper with the with the cameo fighters. So this is just like a basic rundown on how to use cameo fighters. Just look at cameo fighters as a an extension of your opponent's or an extension of your character's moves. So now I will give you guys a couple of recommendations to play with as far as cameo fighters go. Um, definitely Serena. I would say Serena is probably the easiest character at the moment to combo with because she do, does shoot four of her knives. Um, and they don't go away. I think even if somebody hits you, they still come back. So that's one of the reasons why she's so amazing because she hit, she sends out four of them. And it could keep your opponent on lockdown, even on block as well, if you're like pressuring them and stuff. Uh, and I th I'm pretty sure it doesn't go away on hit. So they try to get up to punish you. One of them or two of them might come back and clip them and you could extend your combo. So Serena, obviously, I think she's the best character, cameo character to start off with day one. That's my recommendation. You guys are going to see her a lot online. Next one is Frosty. Um, she does what everything that Serena does as far as combo extensions but she could only do it once because you can't refreeze the opponent. Uh, she does have one up on Serena where she has the orb that she sends out. You could freeze people, you could gra do like grab setups into it. But then again, Serena does have an ambush assist, which is a meter drain. So if you're doing a long ass combo, especially in the corner, you could call in Serena when you start your combo and then all that damage that you do to them is just going to even out with the meter drain. So every time you do a combo to somebody, you give them meter. But if you have the meter drain active, like the meter's almost not going to move. You might They might get a little bit of meter at the end, but that meter drain is causing them to lose their meter while you're comboing them. So another reason why Serena's such a good assist. Um, you guys saw a lot of Kano being used, but I think Kano's more advanced because he, even though he is ambush assist, you have to time him really well. Uh, Motaro is... Motaro's pretty easy to extend combos with because he does have his teleport. 
and it's really fast. It allows you to extend combos, but he is a little bit more challenging than someone like Serena and Frost. I haven't tried Shijinko yet, and I haven't tried... Oh, I, I did try Kung Lao, but he has another one of those moves where he does his, his spin and he sends you up in the air. You want the cameo assist to like keep them on the ground because that's where you're going to get most of your hits on, on the ground. And that's a good like starting point. sub is a really good basic uh, assist as well because he has his forward assist, which freezes you, similar to Frost. Of course, you could only do it once. So that's why Serena, in my opinion, is the best combo extender assist at the moment. Scorpion is a really good assist if you're going to have your opponent in the air. But as far as a basic like bringing it down to the basics this is not going to be good for beginners um striker's really good when it comes to mix-ups he has overheads and lows that are really fast you're not going to be able to extend your combos much with him even though he does have his grenades that are ambush assist um, but you are going to be able to mix your opponent up really well darius has a really nice assist where he kicks you and you sort of become or you you have this like crazy stun state and he could actually change the way he kicks you. Um, so he's very interesting, but I would not recommend Darius for a beginner. So my recommendations are going to be Serena as my number one, Frost as my number two, because then she has the orb as well. And then Sub-Zero here as the number three top assist for beginners. Um, Sub-Zero also has the aura that he puts on you, so it avoids projectiles or it's invincible to projectiles. Uh, and he has his um, shoulder tackle as a wake up and as a combo ender if you want. So that is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little uh, basic, basic tutorial on how to use Cameo as how you should look at them as a beginner. Because I know that it could be overwhelming, especially if you're not used to assist-based fighting games. And I hope this helped you out just a little bit. And let me know in the comments section who you're going to use as your Cameo assist. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.